Hello, how is everybody doing today? We are just going to do an empties video as I have a bin that's fairly full that needs to be taken care of so that I can put more in. And I can't seem to put more in because my basket is overflowing. <laughs> so we'll just get started with what's in the basket then I can start on the next one. I think this is about a month worth of empties but I'm not 100% sure uh, but let's just start we'll start with the non wax items I guess at the top uh, we finished a bag of Scentsy Soak and Pineapple Coconut Vanilla I like it my husband absolutely loves anything coconutty so that's fine glad he loves it um, I got through a package and a half of cotton cleanup, so there's two cotton cleanups tabs. Um, Alright, now we'll just get into the wax, and as I get down to the stuff that's not wax, we'll talk about that as we get there. So, we got through a Camu Camu from the summer wax collection or the summer fragrance selection we got through a bar of uh, tangerine creamsicle both of these are very fruity very nice smelling I really like this one, which is Tangerine Creamsicle. If you see me swatting at things, it's only flies. And then we got through Cashmere and Corduroy, which is one of the new winter scents for the fall winter. Still quite nice. I really enjoy this one. We got through a Mad for Melon, which is a very nice, fresh, citrusy um, scent. Uh, very much an outdoorsy scent on a tropical island. I really enjoy it. Uh, Tinselberry is another one from the Winter Collection. And it's again very nice not super strong but a very nice performer lasts more than a day day and a half it's a couple days and it's very nice again Tinselberry and that's from the winter collection we also got through a bar of cedar cider <laughs> very apple-y and cinnamony but still quite nice um, very strong performer um, our house liked it I'm kind of mad at myself with this one um, I forgot how long limited time bars last and I forgot to put this in my club and so I still have some in my stash but again this is Aladdin three wishes and I wish that I would have put this in my club and I completely forgot but it is so nice I'm glad I still have eight or ten bars of it because there's two bars there that we've got through I'm just going to pick them up and throw them on the floor where I can't bend down to. <laughs> All right. We got through a fairy tale pumpkin, which is a scent of the month for next month for October. Oh, 
think they have four dates in them now. This one was poured on 08-27-2021. So that would be July this was poured. No? August. Apparently I can't think right now. This was poured in August. But it is October scent of the month. It is fairy tale pumpkin. Very nice. Um, very strong performer. Not sold 100% on it myself, but still quite nice. We got through a Harvest Blessing, which is one from the fall. Pumpkin, spice, all those kind of nice things are in this one. We got through one of Jack's Obsessions that I had in my collection from last year. A very apple-y, fresh, very nice. Again, Jack's Obsession is back out right now as well as Halloween Town and Oogie Boogie, which is the new scent of the month. Or, not scent of the month, a new scent for this collection of The Nightmare Before Christmas. We got through a Sand Swept, very fresh, um, outdoorsy smell. My boys love this one. They were arguing over whether or not they were going to put that in their room or not. Because <laughs> we all know teenage boys and prepubescent teenage boys are all stinky. And they need something to make them smell nice. This one is Raspberry Bush, which is one of my older bars. But as you can tell, it was quite juicy. So it had to be used, had to be used. Spiced Amber Glow is another one from the 10 new scents of the fall winter. Cranberries, apples, spices and everything nice in this one. Oh, there's another bar of Harvest Blessing. I managed to get through a scent circle of Johnny Appleseed. We also got through a bar of Angel Experiment 624. We got through a bar of Little Mermaid Kissed a Girl. And again, I'm not going into much detail over these Disney ones that aren't available to the public right now because me subscribe or me telling you about them might just make you want them and you can't have them right now because they're not available. So anything that is available, I will go in and talk more about scents and what it smells like. We got through a bar of Stitch, uh, Experiment 626. Totally Mini is still available. Fresh, girly, kind of fruity scent. Still quite nice. Radiator Springs, which is another one from the summer time. Um, but again, Radiator Springs is not available, but if you go into clearance, you can get the same smell in the car bars, or you can get them in the, what I would classify as a scent circle, like this, which is one that I also got through in Radiator Springs. I got through a bar of Halloween Town which was one I was trying to get samples out to my customers so that they could all smell what the new 
or what the Halloween scents were. Um, I also got through a bar of Mickey Mouse and Friends, which is still available. Again, it's kind of citrusy and fruity. It's still quite nice. All right, so let's go through these ones. Vanilla Waves is from the summer collection. Very Bright is no longer available, but very comparable to Genie. Smells pretty similar. If not a bit more berry type smelling more blueberry ish I do have that in my club so I'm happy about that one but I'm just kicking myself in the earth that I didn't put the other one in there make a splash if you were to go to a water park this kind of reminds me of a water park again make a splash Sorry, I had somebody trying to call me. There is a fly that is driving me crazy. All right. Sun-soaked petals. It's another one that's very nice. Um, reminds me of summertime. And fresh-cut flowers, that kind of thing. Uh, cinnamon buttercream was another one of the fall winter ones. I still have quite a few in that bucket. All right, we got through rainbow sherbet. I also mixed rainbow sherbet with the genie which is amazing this bar is just amazing and so is this one both of these are from the summer collection um, lucky star fruit is from a collection not this past year but the year before again very fruity just a very nice not overpowering strong scent I also got through Strawberry Rock Melon from that same signature collection. Um, yes, I have some of them in the plastics. Um, Scary Good is September's scent of the month, and it is very good as well. Got through a Birthday Wishes which is from the Moments by Moments collection, which I found very nice if I mix this and the Genie. They're very nice together. I got through an old bar of Cranberry Mango. We got through a bar of Graham Cracker Crunch, which is another one from the winter collection. Ouch. I got through one of Moana, Spirit of Montanui, which was another one that came out last fall. We got through a lemon Shorbit. Got through another tangerine creamsicle. Another genie. We got through a baked apple pie.
We got through Vanilla Bourbon, which is from the Father's Day collection. We got through a bar of Vanilla Mint. We got through a car bar of Blue Garado. Sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. We got through a bar of Pina Colada Cha Cha. Again, very nice and fruity. I got through a tester of Dancing Sugar Plum. We got through a bar of Scarlet Sunflower, which is from the Winter 10 New Scents. Again, very nice. Smells like uh, fresh cut flowers. I really like this bar. And I'm not a big flower type of person, but I really enjoy that one. Pomegranate Peresco is very nice as well. Mm. Smells like champagne. Very fruity, but very nice. Got through an older bar of rev, revved up raspberry, which was nice. Not something I'd probably buy again, but it was nice. Got through my son's favorite, which is Oh Snapdragon. We got through Magolian Linen, which is again from the summer collection. Still quite nice. We got through a very juicy bar of Sunkissed Citrus. And then I also managed to finish off my brick of Sunkissed Citrus as well. But if you're looking for a size comparison, there's the size comparison. A brick holds five and a half of these small ones in one big brick. Try to put this down without knocking everything over. I also ran out of a light bulb that I had to replace on one of my mini warmers. I got through one of my pods from my mini fan in Johnny Appleseed. I ended up having to replace one of my larger bulbs as well. The warmer didn't make it very well with the move. I got through a scent pack in Christmas Cottage. Um, there's the Radiator Springs tag for the scent circle that I got through there. There's the Johnny Appleseed scent circle. And then Sugar Cookie in a travel tin that as you can tell it got a whole bunch of oil on it from one of the bars, so I just used it up. And that is my empty collection. And thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys all again. Thank you.